And welcome back, everybody. I know it's been a few days. Sorry, I've been pretty busy. This event, amidst other things, kind of kept me occupied, but I'm back. Um, today, we're going to be talking about this patch. <laughs> There's a lot that kind of went wrong, some things that went right. Um, I have some opinions about how it was handled and the status of some of these things that are still occurring i'm kind of indifferent like i don't know i don't know how i feel but we're gonna go over deadpool we're gonna go over cable uh i'm gonna be showing you some footage of the infuego raid that we went and uh tried to dig our dig our dig our teeth into it's fun deadpool's fun uh his animations are amazing um even Cable, like, and they have amazing synergy too. Like, and Cable, they did a really great job. Like, the art department in this game, like, kudos. If you guys are out there listening, you guys are doing a fantastic job with all the art in this game and the animations and the 3D modeling and all that. It's just phenomenal. Uh, I'm in love with basically like every character that comes out. Like, even the minions have a little, little tisk to them that. That makes them unique so without further ado we're gonna dig a little bit deeper so if if any of you were not online when the patch dropped okay for one it was an hour late it was supposed to start at 11 a.m pacific standard time in which it didn't i think it was actually like an hour and a half later um fox next has got to start working on its communication because there was no notifications, no tweets, nothing on Facebook, no nothing. Like, they just kind of left the community high and dry. They, like, gave us, like, five days warning about, like, this impending patch that was coming. And then it was time. Everybody's excited. They hinted with uh, Deadpool. They had this neat little video that they released on Twitter the night before. It was really slick and well done. Uh, got everybody excited. And then... When they did release the patch, it pretty much fried their servers. I don't think they were ready for it. This is kind of like the second time it happened. It's, it's actually getting to be a little bit shocking. Like the amount of users that they have, they, they now have the data and statistics to track users. So they have to know that people are gonna be playing. And anyways, great job community, because we were like the equivalent of a DDoS attack on Fox Next servers and it basically fried the servers and shut them down within an hour. I want to say within an hour and it was down for another hour. Um, what I'm disappointed in is that there was no apologies. There was no free gifts here, you know, consolation, something like that um, to kind of make up for it. I know for a fact I'm still dealing with a customer service issue where I was um, farming a couple nodes for advanced catalysts and I got nothing. Like I literally hit times five on auto and then the game crashed. And I was like, oh, okay, maybe that's a bug. And I went back and did it again. And after it happened a second time, I immediately contacted customer support and I didn't expect an answer right away because I knew that a lot of people probably had the same issue. Um, they did get back to me. I still haven't received any reward for the 200 almost energy that I spent. And I imagine that I will at some point. But I expected a little bit more, honestly. Considering this, you know, the how everything slowed down. People were experiencing all kinds of issues. And the servers crashed. And they waited an hour. There wasn't even an apology. And that was, eh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I think Fox Next definitely needs to work on that. They need to jump, you know, get their marketing and PR department, like, on the ball. I know a lot of people were, like, really upset. And, you know, that's not a good way to retain customers by basically just slapping them in the face. But I digress on that. Um, moving forward, the, you know, the Deadpool event was absolutely amazing. I wasn't able to capture footage of that because everything was lagging so bad while I was doing it that... I, you know, I was trying to film it and it was just not, no, it wouldn't even have been good to show you guys, but it was fun. I would advise you if you haven't done it to go in there and do it. Um, I got a, a lot of ha 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 moments, laugh out loud. It was very entertaining. 
Um, Deadpool is a pretty decent and well well developed character, but what makes him special is his synergy with Cable. Now there's apparently an event coming up on the 24th with Cable. It was detailed in the patch notes. I will give them that, dude. They were really really on the ball, Johnny on the spot with uh, getting those patch notes out and telling us what they were doing. They nerfed the challenges at the end, which was awesome. If you haven't done that, I would advise you to push those. Um, they changed a lot of the um, campaign battles on the heroes and villains side and in like Nexus 5-7, something like that. There were some bugs they worked out. There was a bugs with Drax. Um, anyway, you guys have read the patch notes, so I'm not going to like go over them um, too intricately, but... There was definitely some changes, some some little things, some graphical updates, which I'll be going over here shortly. They um, changed the the interface for looking at abilities, which was really nice, by the way. Um, now instead of just seeing what the next um, tier level of your ability will be and what it benefits and how it changes, you can now look at all of them and see the changes all the way up to the top, which was really cool, man, because I got tired of going to like MSFGG to find out like what the abilities do at max level, because that's important, uh, especially when you're trying to, you know, put teams together. Like you want to know at max level how they're going to play and what benefits they're going to have when you're creating synergy between teams. And I'll actually be doing a video about creating, you know, team synergy and stuff like that here in the future. So stay tuned for that as well. Uh, to work in progress but back to the Deadpool raid as you can see it's not too bad it's starting out in, in Fuego um, what I will say is this <laughs> this raid is designed for beta players and soft launch players okay I'm gonna be f straightforward with you um, I'm in an alliance that's in the top 500 and we basically got to like the fifth or sixth node and got our shit pushed in. It's like that. It's really difficult. You probably need to have an average, like highest team power of your entire alliance, like 95k. I'd say if you want to get tier two rewards. Um, for this weekend, I'm actually advised, you know, I, I run my alliance and we're gonna just do um, the spicy and double up on those. Uh, I, I'm not a big fan of having them, you, you know, how they use the Blitz. I'm not a big fan of the fact that this raid is only, you know, on the weekends. What the hell is that about? I wouldn't understand that at all. Um, and then you have to use, you know, the Chimichangas. While clever, not well developed. I don't really think they thought that through. They have the Milestone reward. Uh, it's an Alliance reward this time. Instead of being a solo reward. And it's for winning battles and blitz. But as you can see, you don't get any chimichangas in there. Not a fan of that. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I mean, I, I guess we'll see as it as it pans out. Like, I wish that you could have started uh, attaining chimichangas from the moment the patch was released. But that didn't happen. Uh, you only get them while the event is running. Um, I'm just overall, I don't know how I feel. Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it only being on the weekend. Like, that's just really odd. I don't know how long. They haven't detailed how long the event's going to be running. I'm hoping that maybe since it's only on the weekend that we'll see it more often. I don't know what the average amount of shards that you're going to get per event. Like, maybe you just get more. Um, maybe it's designed like that in, instead of, you know, the five per day or whatever. Maybe ten that you were getting for the Thanos raid that was every day. We'll see how it plays out. At this point, I'm not a fan. Um, I like the Thanos raid a lot more. I like the consistency of the tickets. I think that this whole Deadpool raid scenario is a cash grab. I think that they're just trying to encourage people to go out there and spend a bunch of money to buy cores to do a blitz. And then, it what's even worse is the first blitz that we get is wolverine like are you kidding me you've been giving me wolverine shards for free for almost two months now every day just from completing my dailies and now you're gonna make me grind out more than i possibly would on a blitz that i really don't care about so i can get chimichangas so i can help my alliance get more shards for deadpool 
kind of a kick in the nuts. I don't know. As soon as I saw that, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Like, really? And this is the first time I've actually seen a Wolverine Blitz, and I've been playing since, like, three days past launch. Again, not a fan. Um, I hope they make up for it by doing, like, a Black Widow raid. If they really want people to spend money on Blitzes, put the heroes in that we want. Not this garbage. Wolverine and Nebula. Nobody cares about them. You're giving them, you know, you're giving us those shards every month for free. Next thing you know, dude, watch. The next one will be like a Spider-Man Blitz. To be icing on the cake right there. They have a lot of angry people. If that happens, I would love to go to Reddit. Find out what people are saying. Get a kick out of those laughs. Guarantee you, all kinds of people will be griping on there. I should probably get on Reddit to see what the word on the street is. About the current climate of the game. I know a lot of people are upset. Maybe I'll do that later. But, overall, I like the Deadpool character. So... I don't know if it's meta changing. I think some of his mechanics are really well. And I think that he works well in this meta. But in the meta that's going to be happening. Like the shift that's going to be happening. Uh, and during the summertime when they release a lot of these heroes. Like there's some heroes coming out that are going to change the meta. Like right now if you go into arena. And this is what I'm talking about with the meta. Because the meta always revolves around arena for the most part. Because it doesn't matter what you're using in raids. You're not getting cores from raids. Cores are the, the primary currency in the game. So people are chasing those. And th there's really good heroes from Arena like Quake. A lot of people are chasing Drax. Um, Daredevil who's a really hard hitting hero. Uh, Shield Security. If you're chasing Iron Man which I'll be doing a video about as well. So stay tuned for that. I'll be telling you exactly what heroes you should be farming and how to get them. If you're looking into the Iron Man event coming up. Um, so people are chasing arena so the meta kind of revolves around that and right now the meta if you go in and most people on defense have like two tanks sometimes three so it's like a high tank defense so what ends up happening is like you get somebody low and you get tank blocked like yeah, Deadpool is really good for that like he can ice you know assassinate pretty much those like low health heroes that are trying to hide behind you know taunt after taunt after taunt from tanks while you're trying to get through them so, I like that about Deadpool. I really enjoy his synergy with Cable more than anything. I think that this game needs more characters like that. He has like an Iron Man, Captain America type strategy. And it's really well done, graphically especially. Like, it's really cool to watch. I love that. Um, but Deadpool is going to be great for the next coming meta because of the fact that he can cleanse all debuffs off of him and heal himself. And the new meta coming out is going to be very debuff heavy. So if you're unaware of it, there's going to be heroes coming out like Mordo, Loki, um, Star-Lord. Like they're very uh, Venom, very debuff heavy. And I haven't even seen Ant-Man and the Wasp yet, but I, guarantee, I know that they're working on them. They're probably going to come out around the time the movie does. They're probably going to be debuff heavy as well. You're starting to see it now with like Doctor Strange. Stuff. They're just throwing a lot of debuffs out because... Reality is, there's only one true cleanser that you can use in the game that, you know, mask the spells, and that's Jessica Jones, who's going to be the topic of my pick of the litter. So, stay tuned for that as well. I'm talking about segues, but speaking of, I'm going to dive into Deadpool here. So here he is, the Merc with a Mouth. Looks fantastic. The animations on him are phenomenal. He's hilarious to watch. Uh, he's everything that I expected him to be as far as the art is concerned. Like, I, I couldn't have asked for anything better, but I expect nothing less from Fox next. So, I mean, looking at the detail in him, he's just awesome. So moving into his first ability, which is Dual Pistols. It's, this is actually a pretty good ability and it works really well against minions. It has a chance to bonus attack and it always crits against minions. People think it's only good for PvE, uh, you know, mainly like campaigns and raids and so forth, but that could be really decent 
in arena as well. Uh, mostly because like you, you talk about Kingpin, uh, Yondu, Loki, when he comes out. I mean, they're summoning minions. So he can be doing bonus damage against their minions. It'd be an easy way to kind of get his minions out of the picture. I know a lot of people like already have AoE, but he's not a bad character versus those minions. And those two characters are kind of meta right now, and they're really strong. They're two of the stronger villains, so that's something to keep in mind. But his basic... This chain will not do that. It is a really, really strong ability and probably my favorite ability of him because he'll be chaining like crazy. It'll be actually kind of annoying to go against. Then you've got Merc with a mouth and this is awesome. Every single turn he has a chance to revive plus cleanse all of the debuffs on him at max level. Everything. So every turn he basically cleanses his own debuffs. Now if you ever played Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, Ahsoka Fulcrum. Remember how annoying that was? Yeah. Deadpool has the same ability. So that's going to be a game changer, especially when the meta changes and it's very debuff heavy. So keep an eye on that. So that's his kit, like, and I really enjoy it. Um, and I think it has a lot of potential, especially with mutants. So we're going to move. Then we have Bounty Hunter, which is his second ability, which is great for kind of like assassinating low health targets, especially when you get health or tank blocked. Like, if you keep running into situations where tanks taunt right before you're about to kill somebody, you can use Bounty Hunter, and it will target the person with the lowest health, Norris Taunt, and it gives him Regenerate, which is really nice for giving him survivability. I actually really like that ability. Um, moving forward, you've got Hack and Slash. This is a really good ability, uh, mostly because it will chain back to the same target that you started with. As far as the chains in the game right now are concerned, they won't actually go back to the primary target, but this one actually will. And it will actually go around counter too. And I don't know if you know that, but it counter pretty much stops a chain. So if you wonder why your chains always stop, it's because of counter. So this will ignore that and it will ignore a stealth person too. A lot of people put like Black Widow or uh, Electra in the middle because normally when you chain and it runs into a stealth person it'll immediately stop the chain Aesthetically, I really enjoy looking at Cable too. He's pretty dope looking Exactly like I imagined him from the comics and actually very similar to the Fox cartoon on Saturday mornings if anybody remembers that So getting into his abilities, we've got Plasma Rifle, which is his basic it gives him charge, which is an interesting mechanic that only Black Panther had before, and I was always kind of fond of. It's unique and, and something that's a little bit different. I like the charge mechanic, and you can see it's just basic damage plus like the charge. Uh, moving forward, you've got Overload, which uses his charge mechanic. Attack primary target for 100% damage. Reduces turn meter by 25% at level 1. at 75% at level 5. And it does damage to adjacent tur targets if charged and removes 10% turn meter from them. So it's kind of like an AoE of sorts that removes turn meter, which is like amazing in my book. It reminds me of like Hawkeye's second ability. Then you've got his ultimate, which is Psychic Surge. This is where the Deadpool synergy comes from. If Deadpool is there, he actually assists. It's attack primary target for 200% damage. It obviously scales. Deadpool's ally gain assist on kill. Fill Cable and Deadpool's turn meter by 30%. Now at max, it's 100%. So basically it works like Gamora's, if you get kills with it, they both get free turns, which is absolutely phenomenal. And it's going to be great when they're paired up with each other. And they also have um, synergy with mutants as well. As we're gonna Now this ability gives free speed at the beginning of a turn and has a chance to apply counter to a random mutant. Now right now the only mutants are Cable, Deadpool, and Wolverine, but imagine a Wolverine with counter. Now I know why they're giving Wolverine away for free. Maybe we'll see like Juggernaut, wink, wink. So, I mean, that'd be like really cool. Um, I hope to see more mutants. I hope to see more X-Men. Honestly, I'd love to see Colossus. Hopefully they're not tanks. We need more blasters in this game. If nothing else, to help us max out those catalyst challenges. This patch got off to a rocky start. Let's hope it finishes strong. Cause like you guys, I love me some Deadpool. I love me some Cable. And I really want to see Fox next come through in the clutch. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Comment down below and stay tuned. More coming at you. Take care, guys.